Welcome to the wonderful world of programmable logic design for embedded systems. Let's begin by laying the foundation for FPGA design during this first week. First, we will learn about the history of programmable logic to establish background and context for the FPGA. Then we will examine the first reprogrammable logic device, the CPLD, and delve into the architecture of this device and how it affects performance. In the latter part of the module, we will introduce the field programmable gate array, contrasting FPGA architecture and performance with that of the CPLD. FPGAs are made up of memory elements used as lookup tables, or LUTs, to create logic. What is an FPGA? Generally, it is an integrated circuit consisting of an array of programmable logic blocks with programmable routing between the blocks that allows the device to be configured to perform complex digital logic functions. Here's the definition. A field programmable gate array, FPGA, is an integrated circuit designed to be configured by a customer or designer after manufacturing, hence field programmable. The FPGA configuration is generally specified using a hardware description language, or HDL, similar to that used for an application-specific integrated circuit, or ASIC. In this module, we will also learn how FPGAs use LUTs to create logic. Logic design is different in FPGAs. We will look at how design differs by using adders and multipliers as examples. From this, it will be clear how many different functions are implemented in FPGAs. Logic dictates we will take the next step. I think you will find creating projects with FPGAs to be a fun experience because of the great flexibility and range of capability of these products. Hope you enjoy the module.